What's up? This is Sailor Jack coming back with a new video. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm gonna just keep it rolling. All right. <clears throat> this is gonna be like a question and answer. I ain't got that many questions, but I'm gonna try to give y'all a little gist of what happened in boot camp. All right. Somebody asked, uh, Swiss Mob asked, how hard is boot camp physically? Shit, like, I'm gonna put it to you straight. Like, boot camp is hard, like, if you don't work out before you get there, because. Once you get in, like, processing, like, you can't work out, you can't do nothing. It depends. Be... Are you, were, you, were you in the integrated division? Yeah. So then, some people might, because there's two types of divisions. There's integrated, which is the guys mixed with the females, basically, and then you have the all-male. Yeah. So the all-male, sometimes they, they think they get a little bit harder. You get beat regardless. Yeah. Like, the shit, is, if you're not physically... Up to par, there's people that get asthma, like kick back. The you get beat, which is basically when they it you a lot, and they can do it whenever, wherever, at the drop of a dime. Anybody with a red rope can do it. Yeah, beat that ass. Yeah. Call orange car. You gonna learn that shit. <laughs> hydrate. Yeah. Yeah, just get there. Make your ass hydrate. But yeah, fit, uh, physically boot camp is gonna be tough if you don't work out before, cause when that PFA comes, it's a uh, it's yeah. real. Yeah, that physical fitness assessment, yeah, they're going to get your ass with that because you will spend a whole week being lazy, being nervous as shit. We used, to, we used to say that's that's the day when the team got stronger. We cut all the loose ends. Yeah. You ain't making a PFA. You got to go. Hey. Oh, yeah, and somebody asked me, <clears throat> the next question is, how long was DEP? See, DEP depends on how, like, what job you got and, like, the demand. Like Ultimately, your contract. Yeah. Whenever you sign up to when you sign the leave, that's depth. So if you signed up in January and it says June, it's obviously you got to wait that five months. Yeah. If you did like me, you signed up in October, I was out by January. So it just depends on whatever your contract is. And your recruiter should have been pretty clear on that. Hey, I was supposed to be leaving in January 2018. I left in December 2017. I was straight on that. And, and that happens too sometimes. They, they might offer you that money to leave early. I know I know one dude, he got $10,000. Got fucking I was bonus. supposed to leave in June. I left in January. I ain't nothing. <laughs> he got $10,000 to leave in a month earlier. And your fucking nukes, they got like, yeah, nukes. He wasn't a nuke. He was a pack airman. Oh, fuck no. That's undesignated for y'all don't know. It's <laughs> yeah, undesignated. They don't even have a job. They just gave him $10,000 to open yeah. the boot camp. Them nukes be getting like sign on bonuses, like after they like, Reenlist, it should be like $120,000, like, reenlistment bonus. But shit, the fucking new school is hard as shit, though. Like, My like, class right now got a um, LS3. It was, oh, yeah, it was a new. She. She, she was a new. Three yeah. years serving, did not see the fleet yeah. in school. But y'all make that guap, and when you, if you decide to not make a career out of the Navy, when you get out, make a lot of money. It's there. Cheddar, cheddar. What's up, man? The, the next question is, uh, how hard is a swim test? Uh, is there a wall where you can start at when you're pushed off the tower? Yeah, you already know about the tower. Oh, I think she's talking about, like, kicking off the wall. You know how some people like to kick off to get that start? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's yeah. none of that. Yeah, you're not getting that. Nah. You gonna they jump? put you on, like, a 10 or 12-foot platform. And they basically, like, you're going to feel safe. They're not going to let you drown. It's a bunch of seals and rescue swimmers and all that stuff that are in there in the pool at all times. But basically, it's you and another person. Y'all walk up to the edge like this, and he goes, ready? And before you can answer, they just push you off, and then you swim. I didn't have any problems, but, I mean, you don't graduate boot camp without passing it. So you'll just go back, like, every day in the morning, and they'll just keep training you, training you, training you. <clears throat> I mean, that was my experience. Yeah, they gonna have your ass on your heart. Well, it's a little thing called heart card where they document your boot camp, like everything. Like once you pass the test, like they'll stamp it and stuff like that. So if you going back for swims, the back of it's gonna see fucking swim call, swim call, prone, prone, prone. Like if you don't pass it, it's gonna get documented. And then, but it's not a big thing. Like yeah. we in A school right now. One thing people used to always stress in boot camp about their hard cards. Take it serious while you're in boot camp because it means a lot. But once you leave them RDC doors and Great Lakes, that hard card is gone. You ain't got to worry about that no more. So don't stress getting your hard card stamp. It ain't the end of the world. Yeah, unless your ass got captain's mask, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, you just... I didn't have that problem. I was like, man, I was good. Hey, I Chilling. was A-Rock like, uh, <laughs> I still got, I still got, um, I got, a, I broke a CO's top six. 
damn recruit to recruit contact, but they ain't pushing me back though. I don't even want to know the story. It's yeah. bad if I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably tell y'all about that shit later. But all right. And somebody asked what I, like what happens after boot camp? A school. A school. Yeah. Even if you want to reserve, you gotta learn your job. Yeah. You want to get paid for that job, you gotta learn how to do it. A you gotta learn how to do that shit. Yeah, A school is like way easier. Boot camp was easy, but A school so, is like way better atmosphere. Ain't, the environment is not stressful. The only thing that's gonna be stressful is your, like when you walk into them schoolhouse doors because you gotta cram all this information like down. It threw me off. I remember getting off the plane to Chicago, meeting the petty officers there. They were all cool. They were like, "Oh hey, good, good evening, this and that." Da, da, da. We get off the bus and you got that chief yelling at you as soon as you get off the bus. Screaming at your ass. Screaming at you. As <laughs> soon as you walk into boot camp, you like, "Yo, I'm really in hell right now." And then when we came here and we came through the gates pulling up. And the MAs were there checking our IDs, and they were all nice, da da da. And then we walked up. I was like, "Is this a setup?" We were all mad, nervous. We get off the bus, and Chief's just like, "Hey, welcome aboard." He's yelling at the rovers, "Hey, come get the bags and this and that." I was like, "Yo, it's really different out here. People in cities, they out here playing music and whatnot, having a good time. It's a whole different atmosphere." Yeah, like everybody see a different side, and especially that side that you're seeing is not gonna be like that forever, too. Because once you make it, you're officially a sailor, so it's like it's more of a, instead of you know. Good morning, petty officer, and shut up, recruit. It's more like, hey, what's going on, shit, mate? Yeah, what's up with it? I'm what's shaking up, hand. Fuck. You know how weird it is when a senior chief is calling you shit, mate? Yeah, you feel some pride after that. <laughs> Y'all know what senior chief is now. Learn your rank and recognition. You don't need to, but it's a big deal when he acknowledges <clears throat> your presence, basically. Yeah, especially especially in boot camp. If you don't know what his rank is, you're done. That's <laughs> one thing, yeah. Like, don't be that person to call a chief a petty officer. Yeah, them do's and don'ts. Especially you see a senior chief or a master chief, you go, good evening, petty officer. Good afternoon, petty officer. <laughs> it's that orange card he was talking about. Pull that Immediately. out. Immediately. You're going to know what to do. 30 seconds to hydrate. You're going to get it. Not a, you got 30 seconds? Yeah. We got a, <laughs> 10 seconds to hydrate. 10 out of 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that was it. Ours was 30, 15, 10, <laughs> 3, 2, 1. I sounded like my phone call home on the first night. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> I bet he also was like, fucking jump, jump. Random um, moments, bro. Like, it, it's like a lot of things that happen boot camp. Like, they'll build you up. Like, they'll build you up, like, making you think you hot shit. Then they'll break you down. Like, it's when, mental. It's a lot of mental. Yeah, we, we, uh, we got our first phone call. Like, we all happy and shit. We leaving out a little phone call center and we get our ass beat, beat outside. Cause everybody was like talking and shit like they don't know how to control like their emotions so they try to like tone it down but you learn i remember people back at home used to ask me that too do we get phone calls you you should they say that you will but it really depends on how y'all behave because they have every right to say i don't get no damn phone calls yeah but if you were like my division i was in may i kept them in check because i wanted my phone calls it was all on the same page then you will get i want to say three phone calls and it's broken up. It may be like two weeks apart, but it'll feel like a month. Yeah. But there's nothing like getting that phone call back home just to talk to your family one time, to check on your girl, to check on whoever. I just want that trip to the next. That's all I want. That Once. next trip, get that recruit candy. <laughs> them holes <laughs> drop, the cough drops. drops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, that was the best. And that's how I got my waves up when I was in boot camp. Yeah, I the barbers, fun. any guy out there, or girls with short haircut, the barbers suck. They don't give no effort. Yeah, your head. And there's it's, it's no, you know, shot at them, but they're paid really basically to tell you, listen, just sit down. We're going to go over one time with the razor and leave. You might you might be that guy that leaves with patches or a messed up fade. A fucking piece of hair, like, dangling right here. Yeah. Facts. You're going to have that shit. It's like, they go they go by speed, not quality, the quantity. Yeah, Get your ass just, out of there. Shave that shit off. Bzz, Let's yeah. go. Hey. Lined up. You can't be like, oh, no, 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 I need this done. I need this done. Th no, you either get a fade or you get a baldy and you get out. And that's it. Most of the time, you're going to have your RDC in there anyways. They're going to tell your ass, shut the fuck up. You can't talk. So, <laughs> Facts. Yes. They dead ass will say that. Oh, what, what else? The other, it was uh, the PFA standard for people 21 and over. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you're a male, I know for me, it is 13 minutes and 15 seconds. Which I'm 21 exact on the line, so I just got a new standard. The PFA ain't that hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't run. I'm not a runner. 
but I knew I was signed up for the military. I knew shit was real. Yeah. So before I came in, I would run. It's literally that simple. I used to be that same guy, just go to the gym, lift, go home. You know what you're getting into, take the shit serious. I used to run, just jog like three miles. I came here, I had no problem with the PFA. I actually made my score go down. I'm in a 10 minute club now. Yeah, 10 minute club. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, for my standards, 19, about to turn 20 in August. So shit, I'm gonna be up there. Uh, our PFA standards, I think it's like four, 45, this is like the lowest, like 45 push ups. No, it's 55 50 push-ups. push-ups. Oh, wait, how old are you again? 19. Oh, so, yeah, you got you to find more. Mine is 50, yours is 55. I think, yeah, 55 push-ups, and it's like it's like in the 60s for a sales, right? I think mine is 55, yours is 60. Yeah, it might you got to post up the official numbers later, but it's something like that. I'm going to put the link in this video. But the girls, girls get more time to run. Yeah, they and should. And they like... get, well, I think they only got to do like 25 push-ups or something like that. Yeah. So, I mean... If you work out, it shouldn't be that hard. So a roommate. What's up with it? He <laughs> just randomly walked in. <laughs> but yeah, like, the females are like, y'all runs like long as shit, but like, I can see how it is though. Like, a lot of females like really feel it. The same thing with the swim test too. Like, it's not females, but it's like mostly like African Americans like feel that shit. The swim test. Yeah, they used to call it the Million Man March. Yeah. Who <laughs> can? All <laughs> Everybody be feeling that shit. What is that? You could just say black, nigga. You good. I ain't, I ain't want to put it like that because people are like, hey, you light skinned. Your ass is not black. So. I'm black. I say you say black. Yeah, I'm black. Damn it. My, my mom's black. So she, no, I'm one black. thing someone did ask me, though, I remember when I got out of boot camp, as far as the PSA, if when you graduate boot camp, the PFA go away forever, it does not. No. We are in A school <laughs> still doing the PFA. PFA. I think we got PFA tomorrow, bro. I oh, yeah, I did it last week. Yeah, I said tomorrow. The PFA does not go away for your entire career. You got to do it twice a year. But if you're like me and you get an OS, I got to do it once a year. Yeah. I got to do it once a year. Get outstanding on your PFA, like you reach the fucking maximum. And that doesn't mean you pass by 30 seconds or something. It means like I need 13, 15 to pass. I'm running within 10 minutes. Yeah. Like well, you- I need 50 push-ups to pass. I'm doing 100 plus. Like that's, o- that's outstanding. You only do one PFA a year. Fuck like yeah, that. you only have to do one. I heard that. They told me that one time. I was like, I'm getting an OS the next one. Watch. And I did. I'm yeah. not playing around. I was tired as hell. But <laughs> it was worth it. I'll see y'all in July. They try to avoid uh, PFAs getting LLD and shit. They trying to be light duty. Yeah, don't be that guy in boot camp or after that. You always know, sick. Always yeah. sick. Always faking injuries so you don't have to do PT. Because PT is just going to help you. That's all it's going to do. We have one guy in my division who every single PT would either be SIQ, LLD, somehow figured out a way to finagle his way. And it wasn't a big guy. It wasn't crazy out of shape. But PFA came. He couldn't do push-ups, couldn't do sit-ups, couldn't run. And he was crying in surprise. And everyone else looked at him like, I think hey. Rodriguez was talking about that shit. Yeah. Like, he said, like, he kept going to, like, fucking medical and shit. Like, he said he said a dude went to medical and uh, to be uh, to get a shave chip. Like, so he wanted to shave no more. He came back. He was fucking SIQ. Like, how do you go to medical and come back SIQ? I get shaved chits all the time. Like, that, that's not heard of unless you... They, they're they not going to check you for something you don't complain as a problem. No, no, no. I'm telling you, like, he lied and shit. Like, he was, like, saying, like, stuff... Oh, hurt. he was saying he was going to go for a shave chit? Yeah. And did it for something? Yeah, you got those people, too. And they're going to get beat when they get back from their SIQ days or their LLD days. Because you, you sign out, like, why like why you going to place? You know what I'm shit. talking about. Yeah. yeah. Get beat. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't lie, cheat, steal, or tolerance. Tolerate anybody amongst you that does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. The you maximum. Know. Nah. Boot camp is easy. All you gotta do is just listen, pay attention to detail. <laughs> yeah, boot camp is boring as fuck. Like you know your eleven general order. It is boring. It is. It, it gets. It gets to you after a while. Being in that same compartment all day when you only go to a few classrooms and chow. You just, bro. I remember. Holiday routine on Sundays when you just literally, you just, you're like, why can't I just get a phone call or something? Like, you just like, run out of things to do. You either shine in your boots. You start going to chaplain. You go to the chaplain. They got a church on base for every single religion. Yeah. But holiday routine is basically from, what is it, 7, 0700 to 13? 
Yeah. You have kind of the day to yourself in a way, but you're still only given options of what you can do. Yeah, the RDCs are still coming and poking on your ass. Yeah, and it it it's a little it's boring. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And if you have RDCs like mine, they'll make sure y'all still acting right because they'll tell you, listen. At thirteen hundred, your ass is mine. So act like, yeah. act like you know who you <laughs> at. Enjoy it, but don't enjoy it too much. That shit, that shit, that close in on you real fast. Yeah. But yeah, this is uh, this is our really. I don't even know why I said that. My tongue fucked up right now. You don't have to edit that. Nah, you don't have to edit this shit. Bro. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, this video is gonna conclude right now. Uh, what I'm gonna say. This is Sailor Jack. You know, my name's Jackson, by the way, in front. I don't know if I told you already. Coleman. It's my boy Coleman. You know, he finna graduate this week. week. Yeah. No, nah, next, next week. Next week? Yeah, I got one more weekend left. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. About to get Friday off. Be up out of here. Sir. But yeah, appreciate I appreciate y'all watching this video. I'm going to cut it off right here. Welcome aboard. Peace out.